Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Report, Green Bay Packers could hand Bill Belichick to Dallas Cowboys with wild card win. The Green Bay Packers, as they should be, are worried about their postseason run with the youngest team to make the playoffs since the 1974 Buffalo Bills. But their role as potential spoiler in their matchup with the Dallas Cowboys could have major ramifications for the rest of the league. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones put head coach Mike McCarthy on the hot seat heading into the playoffs. The Cowboys seem prepared to move on from McCarthy if the team suffers a short exit this month. The Cowboys would have to act quickly to snag a head coach because two top choices are getting calls from multiple teams. The Seattle Seahawks are interested in Cowboys defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn. But probably the biggest head coach free agent in the league Thursday morning is Bill Belichick after he and the new Eberflus Patriots officially announced they were parting ways, without seeking a trade. Per Mike Florio with NBC Sports, Jones told Belichick decades ago he'd be willing to hire the New England Patriots legend as the Cowboys head coach. Belichick also has admiration for the Cowboys. Here's what Belichick said about the Joneses before the Patriots played the Cowboys during the 2023 regular season, I have a ton of respect for Jerry and Steven, and the way they run the organization down there. They've had decades of success. They were really the team of the 90s with Jimmy, Johnson, and they've been good. They've been competitive every year, obviously more than competitive. They've had a lot of great players down there. Tony, Romo, had a great run. Those are great years there with Tony, Coach, Bill, Parcells. We played them here in the early 2000s, but I always keep an eye on them, just the way they do things. They've gotten a lot of players that they've gotten a lot of production from that I'd say aren't big-name players, free agents, guys that they dig out down there. I think their scouting staff does a good job. They're very experienced. Almost all of their scouts have been with the Cowboys their entire career so they homegrow them and they learn their system. I think they manage their personnel really well. At 71, Belichick doesn't want to rebuild a team. The Cowboys would be the perfect franchise for Belichick to join this offseason and make a Super Bowl run over the next few seasons. Belichick's best shot to become the Cowboys' head coach is for McCarthy to lose to his former team, the Packers, this weekend. The longer the Cowboys are in the playoffs, the more likely Belichick will find another suitor, or the Cowboys will retain McCarthy. Cowboys, grinding and growing. Dak Impact Reaction, number 4 leads this thing. Over the last couple of days, we have heard a lot about the mentality and togetherness of the Dallas Cowboys locker room. From Mike McCarthy detailing his relationship with Dak Prescott to offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer revealing the touchdown ball gesture the team does. Now safety J. Ron Curse is the latest to praise the camaraderie in the locker room. As an entire team, we just grew closer, Curse said. This is our third postseason together with a lot of the guys in this locker room, you're around somebody that you know, grinding, running, sweating all the things that goes into becoming a good football team throughout the year. You just grow a bond, and the guy you lining up next to, he just become that much more important to you to go out there and be that guy for him. So that's the biggest difference, it's not segregated, it's not offense, defense, it's everybody's in this. While having every one of the 53-man roster pulling in the same direction is good for morale, there needs to be a leader of it, and for Dallas, that's Dak Prescott. Much has been made of Prescott's intangibles since becoming the starter for the Cowboys, and after taking his game to new heights this season, there is no doubt as to who is the leader of the locker room. For Curse, Dak is the straw that stirs Dallas drink. He knows us for real, Curse said. He knows the type of guys that we have on this side of the ball, and he trusts us to go out there and be who we are, so that's just an example because Four leads this thing, and he has complete faith in everybody, offense, defense, and special teams. Prescott has had an MVP-caliber season as he led the league in touchdown passes, 36 finished with 4,516 passing yards, a 105.9 quarterback rating, and just nine interceptions. It has been a career year for Dak, and it appears that his presence and ability to drive and support his teammates extends far beyond the offense. There are so many stars on this Dallas team and they are all pulling in the same direction, 
with Prescott the glue bringing it all together. Grinding and growing toward a playoff meeting with Green Bay. Dallas Cowboys injury and practice report in Green Bay Packers prep for big names, top 10 takes fish podcast. The Dallas Cowboys were pretty much all smiles as they returned to the practice field on Wednesday afternoon, but did so inside Ford Center due to high winds in the backyard at the Star, with good health a reason for the optimistic mood. For key names worth watching, which we, and owner Jerry Jones, did in our observation of practice in anticipation of the playoff opener against the Green Bay Packers on Sunday at AT&T Stadium? Starting left guard Tyler Smith, who missed the regular season finale against the Washington Commanders after tearing his plantar fascia in the Week 17 win over the Detroit Lions, was back on the practice field on Wednesday and listed as limited. There is anticipation of him playing on Sunday. Starting right guard Zach Martin also missed the Week 18 win over the Commanders after becoming ill over the weekend. Martin got a rest day on Wednesday but will be at full strength on Sunday. Zach is good, Coach McCarthy said. Just came from the walkthrough. Looks good. A sidebar here, that flu bug has been running through the building for about a month. But as you can see on the injury report, nobody was out sick on this day. So maybe it's clearing up. Cornerback Stefan Gilmore dislocated his shoulder in the win over Washington. He said the medical team popped it back in on Sunday and he's now playing to wear a harness against the Packers. He's making really good progress, McCarthy said on Wednesday morning. The goal is to give Gilmore what he needs here Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday and then line him up Saturday and cut him loose. And defensive tackle Jonathan Hankins with his ankle? The team mistakenly listed him as DNP before quickly correcting the error, which we knew it to be because we watched him practice on a limited basis. Want to come inside the star with us this week? It's easy. The Fish Podcast and the Fish Report come to you from Frisco, home of the Cowboys, and we will guide you through the week with insight into America's team 24-7. Join us, Cowboys Nation. And you fan, what do you think of the Zach Martin situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.